Hello, Namaskar. This is First Post and you're watching Vantage with me, Palki Sharma. It's day 11 of the war. 9 p.m. in India, 6.30 p.m. in Israel, asked to go for U.S. President Joe Biden to land. He will meet leaders of Israel, Jordan, Egypt and Palestine. The U.S. has put 2,000 soldiers on standby in case the war escalates. In Gaza, the death toll continues to rise. Among them is a senior commander of Hamas. As the crisis escalates, Iran is threatening to join the war. What will that mean for the region? Also, does Iran have the appetite for a direct war right now? Meanwhile, Netanyahu's ratings are sinking, especially as the wait for Israeli hostages continues. Today, Hamas released a video of a woman they've, they've held captive. We'll show it to you. Also discuss the role of Egypt. From a peace broker in the past to almost a jailer now, why does Egypt refuse to take civilians from Gaza? Which countries are supporting Hamas and why? The list includes Malaysia, South Africa and Colombia. Why are Western campuses soft on Hamas? And why conflating terrorism with resistance is dangerous. Also, Vladimir Putin is in China and India has stopped short of legalizing same-sex marriage. We'll bring you all this and more. The headlines first. The Israeli currency, the shekel, drops to an eight-year low against the US dollar. The shekel has lost more than 3% since the war began last week. The Bank of Israel has unveiled a $45 billion package to moderate the shekel's volatility. The West builds pressure on Iran. The European Union will not lift nuclear deal sanctions on Iran. Tehran has called this move illegal. This is beyond the deadline mentioned in the 2015 deal aimed at curbing Iran's nuclear program. Russian President Vladimir Putin meets Hungary's Viktor Orban in China. The Hungarian Prime Minister is Putin's closest ally in the European <coughs> Union. Hungary, which borders Ukraine, has opposed many EU initiatives that support Kiev in the war against Moscow. Liberia is heading for a, for a presidential runoff. The first round was a close fight between incumbent George V and Joseph Boakai. In 2018, the United Nations ended its peacekeeping mission in the West African country. This is the first poll to be held since then. Liberia is Africa's oldest republic. And Greece is worried over its ticking demographic time bomb. Its prime minister declares quote-unquote, national danger over the declining birth rate. By 2050, the population is likely to fall by over a million. Last year, there were fewer than 77,000 births, the lowest in 90 years. 